when asked the status of the stimulus checks, the same response is given. We're working on it. We're getting close. We're almost there. We almost gotten there. If people knew what was really going on, they'd really ask, why is it taking so long? <laughs> But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the Stimulus Check Update Lighthouse Alert Community and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. All right, so welcome to your Stimulus Check Updates. Uh, we're going through, you know, we're going through this weekend. It looks like we're in Sunday, you know. So, I mean, if you're new to the community, then I welcome you back. And if you're, you know, if, you, if you're in the community and you subscribe, I welcome you back. And if you're new, consider subscribing. It's free. So the $500 billion offer that the Senate was dealing with was voted down. Now, I'll tell you why. You know, I believe this is still advanced enough through, advanced enough, though, it was voted down. Mark Meadows and Nancy Pelosi stated that they needed to have an offer made by this weekend. Um, all right. Now on to the stimulus, you know, the, uh, the Senate two days in a row stopped working to pass extra PPP money and their $500 billion skinny, you know, bill, you know, it needed 60 votes in order to advance from the Senate over to the house of representatives. However, you know, it failed to garner the needed votes. You know, what was interesting though, was nearly all Republicans voted in favor and five Democrats actually changed sides and tried to push, you know, five Democrats, they, they, they changed sides and tried to push through, you know what I'm saying? They, they flipped. So now, you know, Senator Chuck, Chuck Schumer of New York, you know, instructed his Democrat accomplices to vote against the skinny bill and five of them broke ranks. You know, it seems that there's some real combined feelings on stimulus within the Senate. You know what I'm saying? So real um, complex feelings towards Senate. You know, it, it's funny because when you think about it, there are real people in this world who are against stimulus. They're against it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, stimulus is basically just the other side of a regular individual, a regular American paying taxes out of their check as they work. Stimulus is just the other side. Now that the economy is shut down, give me my money back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, stimulus is just the other side. Now that the economy is shut down, the economy wasn't shut down. I've worked taking money out my check. Now just give it back. Do you think that's a very juvenile way of looking at it? Write down in the comments what you think. But I mean, simply stimulus is just the reaction of the action. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now, it seems nevertheless that Chuck Schumer is attempting to keep his party so focused on this prospective two trillion dollar bill. You know, so we remain in kind of a strange circumstance where it resembles, you know, if we can't even get five hundred billion dollars passed, how in the world are we going to get two trillion dollars? passed? I mean, <laughs> well, it boils down to, to most Republicans are in favor of moving forward, perhaps not with that big of an expense. And now you'll have the Democrats come in and get the 60 votes if the White House and the House of Representatives can get this $2 trillion approximately dollar proposition into a call into a bill that can pass to the Senate. Now, the issue solvers caucus, remember them, you know, they're, they're another player on the board. They are made up similarly of Republicans and Democrats, right? So it's bipartisan. Now, they stated that the $500 billion proposition not going through in the Senate was an advantage due to the fact that that they didn't go far enough for the American people. You know, and they talk about that stimulus check not being included in this $500 billion plan. And they desire both parties to concentrate on the larger all-inclusive plan, all-inclusive package to Bermuda, right? The Bermuda Triangle. But anyway, no, uh, to be serious, the, the all-inclusive package where, you know, stimulus is included, stimulus package, not just unemployment, not just schools, not just uh, small businesses, but everybody. Now, if you can recall, I said last week that, you know, I thought the Senate's bill was too little and would be a waste of time. I was right. But at the exact same time, you know, I'm so happy that Steve Mnuchin, Nancy Pelosi and the White House kept working out instead of waiting to see if this bill would stop working, you know what I'm saying, in the House and, and, and rather not it'd be dead on arrival. You know, so so I'm glad they didn't just stop what they were doing to just see to it that, you know, what they already thought was that it'd be dead on arrival. But, you know, they understood it would. And, you know, so I'm simply grateful that they, you know, have actually continued to keep their focus on the bigger stimulus plan. Now, the new stimulus package, as you know, has cash for rent help uh proprietors or small business owners uh you know it has cash with direct stimulus checks to american people and unemployment through january of 2021 now i know a lot of people were saying uh in the comments that you know 2021 is like right around the
the coin. It's like a month. So big deal. You know, but think about the fact that some of this money is retroactive and it goes back to when it actually cut off. So that's a smile, you know, a good thing. Um, but Nancy Pelosi stated that, you know, she is hopeful that an agreement would be reached prior to the election. You know, they're talking about like Monday or Tuesday coming up. And, you know, of course, I'll be back with many more updates um, by then because as I know more, I'm going to just get on here and just share it. But now, you know, it appears it would be in Democrats, in the Democrats favor to pass a bill prior to the election. It, it just seems like it, right? Because if Joe Biden does win the presidency, the presidency, uh, you know, something might not be done up until February of 2021 when he gets in there and gets all nice and cozy in the sleeping bag. So, you know, if they can get this through, then they do not have to wait actually until February, you know, which makes them look, you know, even more, even better. You know, it makes them look excellent, in fact, you know, and they get it done. If they get it done prior to that election, that makes them look real good. I'm telling you, you know, so hopefully, you know, they will. However, if Trump wins, then they likewise looked great as well due to the fact that they got it through prior to his win, right? I mean, I mean, really, let's, let's, in this community, let's just think this through. They look good either way. So why are they holding up the process? They look good either way, right? Leave down in the comments what you think. You know, therefore, President Trump, you know, um, you know, he stated that if he wins, you know, he would definitely just get a bill through immediately. You know, he would not, you know, be waiting till February like those bad old Democrats, right? I'm not going to wait till February. No way. No way. So both sides, I believe, still have the opportunity to look great in the eyes of their prospective voters who, you know what I'm saying? Both sides, they could just look great, period. No matter what, you know, it's nobody's name on the check and everybody else is forgotten. And it, regardless, everybody can look great if it's done. Right. So I know that, you know, numerous people are changing parties right now. We got a lot of party flipping. Uh, right now, you know, like uh, like the young kids do today, they just jump party, go from this party to that party, to this party, to that party. So I know we got a lot of that happening, you know, based on what's going on. And likewise, you know, you know, it's just in correspondence to what's happening. You know, we have just a lot of changing of minds and changing and bickering and, and a bargain and poker playing, you know, and you're in the middle. You're the chips that's being, you know, played with as an American citizen, you know. But anyway, you know, I'm just uh hoping that they'll get this thing done. You know, like most of y'all just come together and get it done for us. Stop all this foolishness. You know, now both Mnuchin and Pelosi stated that you know, they have their, their teams working around the clock, preparing the language for the bill that each other can examine and revamp, you know, if, if it deemed, if it be deemed essential, you know, so there, there's some genuine traction going on, right? You know, they're not simply peeling out in, in location anymore, and, you know, doing nothing, you know, they actually getting some actual traction going, you know, they're, they're really moving down the track. You know, Mark Meadows of the White House said the strategy is to have a votable bill by this weekend, right? Okay. So here we are this weekend. What's happening? What's happening? You know, in just uh, a number of days, what's going to happen on Monday, you know, so now I'm not attempting to get anyone's hopes up, you know, because a lot of broken promises has been happening since July, but we're waiting to see. And here at the lighthouse, we are going to let you know what's happening. We're going to sound the alarm. You're going to hear the, the, the alarm sound when that check is announced and it's in motion. You know, it's not clickbait. You know, I don't attempt to raise anyone's hopes up. However, be, you know, uh, you people have actually been, you know, uh, looking forward to this since July. You know what I'm saying? You know, simply, uh, they've been guaranteeing it since July, you know, but simply having a guarantee that it's going to happen um, is, you know, just words. Um, now, the White House and Nancy Pelosi, you know, they said that they believe that they'll have everything all set in the next two days with everything drafted, you know, by Monday. Uh, Pelosi said that she lastly sees both sides of the negotiation team being major uh, and thinks that an offer will be done before the election. So Mark Meadows stated that the ball is lastly moving down the field. And, you know, we pull in just quotes, you know, the ball moving down the field is traction. The ball moving down the field is traction. The ball moving down. So it appears, you know, everyone has got actually good energy on pushing this bill forward before the election. You know, that's my stimulus update for the day. Um, as I know more, I'll share more. I'll get on here and share more, you know, and anyway, you know, I would just uh, like to let you know, pass this uh, video on to anybody that, uh, you know, in your life that's looking to find out about unemployment, stimulus check update, let them know, you know, because likewise, they'll be interested on an up to date alarm showing them when this thing is actually getting done. And just know that regardless of all the uh, bickering, all the uh, negotiating, all the poker playing, you know, Know, just know that you're amazing and a winner and that uh, you'll be the one who wins this game in the end. And uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video.